Today we're going to be taking a look at two watches from a brand that's been on a bit of a hiatus the last little while. They've come back though with a really good affordable diver. The brand is Seeking and their latest Seeking SK2 is a great option at a reasonable price. Now these watches were given to the channel and do not have to be returned, but like always, the company has no say when it comes to the content of today's video. So let's get to it and take a look at the watches. Now you might not be familiar with Seeking watches, but you may recognize the owner, Carlos's other company, LCBI, Loomed Ceramic Bezel Inserts. They sell bezels, inserts, and other modding parts for Seiko and some other brands. Seeking's first release was a similar watch, but larger in size and also with a Salida movement. To keep costs down this time, they're using an NH35. The watches are available in these two colors, the blue on the left and the black. We'll start with a look at the black and the dials on these are just so clean. The proportions of everything are spot on. Up top, we have the Seeking logo printed in white and they've given the watch just a touch of color with the red automatic above the water resistance and the red tipped second hand. One pretty cool detail is the Naples, Florida text at the bottom of the dial, which is where the company is based. The watches aren't made there, but they do their QC there and ship out of Florida. We'll swap over to the blue here for a second. And this is my favorite of the two. It's a beautiful shade of blue and a good match with the bezel color to the dial and the bezel. The hour markers are applied and we have that extra large marker at the 12 and shorter ones at the 3, 6 and 9. You sometimes get that one shorter marker to accommodate for the date and the rest are longer, but I like that they went with the smaller markers there to keep the symmetry of the dial. I'm a big fan of sword style hands like this, so they are a plus for me. Overall, an easy to read watch and same goes for in low light. They're using BGW9 and it's packed in there. Good solid loom. The bezel loom isn't quite as bright, but it's still quite long lasting. The bezel has one of the best bezel actions I've ever felt in an affordable diver like this. Sounds great and feels great in hand to use zero problems with grip. It's a 120 click bezel and has a ceramic insert. Now these watches give off some obvious Omega vibes here, but it's a beautiful watch. The case is very well finished with sharp lines as the brushed surfaces meet the polished areas. The lugs are drilled to help with strap changes and the crown, which is a screw down crown, is signed with the company logo. The case back is etched with the company logo as well and under the hood is the Seiko NH35 movement. The bracelet is a three link bracelet with solid female end link so it does drape straight down. There's quite a bit of play, but it's actually very comfortable, partly because of that. It's sized using screwed links and the bracelet tapers down to 18 millimeters at the clasp. The clasp has six micro adjusts. No on the fly adjustment system, but still a good quality clasp. It is also double signed with Seeking and the company logo. Size on the watch comes in at a case width of right at 42 millimeters. The lug to lug 48.1 millimeters. Lug opening is 22 millimeters and the thickness is 13.6 millimeters, including the slightly domed sapphire crystal, which is treated with an anti-reflective coating. Water resistance on the watch is 200 meters. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And these are some of the best divers I've seen for the cost in quite a while. Price for these is 350 USD and they're available right now on the Sea King site. Link will be below. So what do you think? I think it's a great comeback release from Sea King. Beautiful watches and they've both been a lot of fun to wear. Really appreciate you taking a few minutes to stop by and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.